Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. Today I am with Chantel again, and we have a great topic to talk about with you today. We are going to talk about some of the odd things that Kiwis do. And there so, are many. <laughs> there are many. We have a lot to get through today. So stay tuned, and here we go. Okay, so the first thing I'd like to talk about is let's talk about some of the words that they use and some of the things that they have here that are just a little bit different. Um, and it takes a little bit of an adjustment. So if you are visiting here or you are moving here or you are just traveling through, then you're gonna wanna know these things. So these are some odd things that you have to get used to when living or traveling through New Zealand. So the first one is, let's talk about like some of the words. So togs is the word for bathing suit, swimsuit. So when someone says, bring your togs, I just remember when I first moved here, like I just didn't know what they were talking about. I had no idea. And I was like, what? And like, where does the word come from? I've like asked around and I haven't really got a solid answer. So if you know what togs is referring to or what the history is with that word, comment below and let us know. Also, gum boots are like a big thing, which are actually just rubber boots that they wear, you know, in the mud or like farmers will wear it and it's just called gum boots. And people actually wear them to grocery stores. Like they actually will wear it as a shoe. Yes, but I also was just wearing gum boots recently and it's not okay to wear them in some restaurants. So like you have to take them off and go inside, which makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable to just be wearing my socks. In a, in a restaurant, like to even just like pick up your takeaway. And so I was like, are we just gonna really? take them off? Yeah, because they don't want the mud or whatever. Uh -huh. I didn't have mud on mine, but I, you know, it's just not, apparently that was a new thing that I learned this week. Uh, so gumboots are a thing and like they'll, they'll wear them with really short shorts, <laughs> which is kind of a thing. And it's like kind of a joke here is short shorts and like a singlet or like a tank top if you're not from New Zealand with the gumboots. And it's just kind of a really kind of a funny look. It's a fashion statement. It's, it doesn't look good. Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then another thing is, is just be aware of, there's a lot of slang and I'm not going to go into a lot of the details on the slang in this video but um, they like to put the word as, A-S, not A-S-S, -S, yeah. <laughs> after everything. <laughs> and that's good to know because they'll say sweet as or nice as. Full or, as. Full as, right. And the, you know, for like anybody else coming into this country, you think sweet as what? Mm. Full as what? <laughs> like they're not finishing their sentence. And they use it all the time. So you can be at a grocery store and they're like, oh yeah, sweet as, like, just like, you have change. Oh yeah, sweet ass. You know, like all the time. That's just what they say. All the time. It's kind of makes it all relaxing though. It makes it. You just feel like it's just relaxed just because of the word. Sweet yeah. Ass, and now ass. I find I I never used it a lot, but now I say it all the time, and so I just wonder, you know. We like, started saying the word reckon. I no, reckon. You did it. I know you did it. We say it all the time. <laughs> And I'm like, if I say that to my friends back home or my family, they'll be like, what are you talking about? Like, I know, I know. And wild stuff is at the grocery store. Whilst, like, they use that word yes, too. Whilst, I was yes. like, that's, to us, that's like old English. No, it is. Or, um, uh, what do they say for every two weeks here? Oh, oh yeah. Fortnite. Fortnite. Yeah, and yeah, I'm yeah. Like, that's for like a fortnight. Yeah. What? I get paid every fortnight or, or we'll do that every fortnight or whatever. Like that, that's like a, every other week. Right. You're like, Huh. Bi-weekly is right. a fortnight. Bi Bi-weekly or, yeah, it's it's not used at least where I'm from. I've never heard of it in my okay. life. Okay, you have it? Okay, never. because I was like, people were talking like, should I know what that means? No. <laughs> Even like reckon, I'm like, I feel like I can't like believe that you like... say I reckon. <laughs> no. I have so many people that say that and I'm like, I have not gotten on board with the I reckon because I it's just found like, head. I reckon. No. Oh, it's in my head. It just doesn't it doesn't come, come out. out. Oh. It doesn't come out. No, it has. So that's good. So like even when I first, here's a quick story. When I first moved here and I literally, I'm on a flight with four kids all by myself. I get off of the flight. I haven't slept in like 26 hours. And I'm like, I am just focused on getting a coffee. So I go <laughs> into, I'm in Auckland airport. I go to the coffee and there's this like really tall, like 20 year old. And I'm like, could I have a coffee? And he goes, what would you like? I'm like, and then he said flat white. And I'm like, sure. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means, you know? And so, um, and he was like, sweet ass like that. And I was like, what did you just say to me? <laughs> it's true. Like I thought he said, you know, 
<laughs> with two S's and because I haven't slept and I'm like, where did I just move? <laughs> and I was like, I was like and he was like, and then he was like, like, I go, you what did you like, just say? And he goes, sweet ass. I'm like, you should have like, how? <laughs> you should have said, oh, thanks so much. Yeah. <laughs> Normally I would, but I was not in the mood. I had not had my coffee yet. So anyway. So be aware of the slang. There is a lot and we could talk about, we should probably just do a whole video on that, but be aware of the slang. That's yeah. our first point. Pretty funny. Okay. So some other odd things that Kiwis do. Okay. When you are going to the bathroom in New Zealand on a toilet, they'll give you options to flush. And I remember like there's mo normally there's two buttons. Sometimes there's more than two buttons. So it's one button. If you're going to go number one. <laughs> yeah. And then another button if you're gonna go number two. I think you all know what I'm talking about. So <laughs> you just, you know, so it's, um, it doesn't waste water if you don't go number two. It's like more water goes down. More energy Is that efficient. what's really happening because I Yeah, I mean, in a lot of, I've seen that in a lot of countries, but I know we don't have oh, that okay. back home. Okay, yeah. so you've seen it in other like countries. Like in Europe, okay. that's the norm as well. Oh, yeah, there it is. So I think we're just like more energy efficient in this country. Oh, so, so noticeable being in New Zealand, how they just make that a priority. Recycling. Something that's odd though, is yeah. somebody once, like for me, I would always flush, but someone's like, oh, you don't really need to if it's just like number one, you know? And I'm like, <laughs> right. uh, that's true. yeah, you do need to flush. It's true. Yeah, you just need to flush, right? <laughs> Yes, and yeah, so, and a lot of people always ask me, you know, like, does the water spin in a different direction oh, yeah. in the toilet? Does and it? I'm like, no, I, I don't, there's not that much water in the key Well, toilet. and it comes differently, like, and it, it kind of, like, yes, flushes this way, it doesn't, a lot less. But wait, it depends, some, some toilets are, like, positioned where it'll, like, flush I just think way. it's a weird question, and I have barely thought about it. You know why, though, because depending yes. on where you are, yeah, it does go differently. Yeah, it would. It probably does. So, yes. We should do a Odd test. things. We should do a test. Gosh, so many video ideas for one video. <laughs> awesome. Okay, another odd thing, and this is odd because it's, like, actually true. Like, like you don't really understand it until you come here how friendly oh. everybody is. Like, everybody. everyone's friendly. Everyone's helpful. Yes. They go out of their way to like help Like, at you. a different level. Mm -hmm. I could tell you story after story where people just offered things for me, helped me out, didn't charge me any money, were yeah. uncomfortable, like. And they don't, they don't um, want, or their, their intention is not to get something in return. It's just purely opening their homes or opening their hearts, basically, yes. if you will. Like yeah. actually nice. Yeah. Like, I don't know how to describe it to you. You have to come here and experience it. It's so nice. But then you will, every once in a while, get those odd ducks. <laughs> that What's get the odd duck? <laughs> Get, they they do story. get like a little bit upset with you about really weird things that don't matter at all. Okay. So like they're so nice about important things like, you know, like you can come stay with me or you can come have dinner with me and like so nice. But then like one time, I have so many stories of people just like getting really, one time I was picking up my kids from school and it's like there's, there's traffic is horrendous trying to get your kids from school and I had a situation where one of my kids was you know, uh, handicapped or like injured. And so like, there's this part where you're not supposed to park, but that day I did. Okay. I never, ever do. But I like, I pulled in because my son was right there and it was like one second. And let me tell you, this guy saw me pull in. He opens the car door to where my other son is sitting and starts yelling at me. How dare you park here? And da 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 da. And I was like, Hmm. And were you on like lines, like across? Yeah, line? I was on. I was on lines, but I wasn't even close. It was just like you know how uh, they're so good about health and safety, but they're also just a little over the top on some. Of it. You know, like I'm so, like, really far from any. There's nothing that's gonna happen, and it was just one of those moments where it just, it just had to happen that day. I don't know what to tell you, but he just screamed at me like across my son, and I was like, "Can you please just close the door of my car, please? Like, it's so inappropriate that you just <laughs> opened my car." and you're touching my car and this is personal property and like do you want to go there <laughs> and he was a large man and so i wasn't mm, you know and i'm just like oh and my son's like <laughs> <laughs> it's because he's like totally yelling at me but it's like so random like you guys are so nice about everything and then just like randomly there's somebody that gets upset or like if you just read the local paper <laughs> and what people complain about here is like oh someone didn't pick up their poop on the crosswalk when they walked at 
8.20 on Sunday, <laughs> you know? Or like we just get hyper about weird things. Small things. It's really fun to read. Like I would really encourage you if you to read some of the local papers because it's really, um, really interesting <laughs> compared to like the really horrible things that are happening daily in the States, for example. <laughs> Which is kind of nice. It's you know? really nice. It's really nice, but it's funny. <laughs> mm. <laughs> they think it's a big deal. Okay. Anyway, so everybody's really nice. I mean, like, everybody. Okay, let's talk about potatoes. Is it potato or potato? It's, okay. <laughs> That's a whole different story. It's, it's potatoes. It's potatoes. Oh, okay. So you just need to know that when you order French fries here, it's actually chips. And they actually don't know the word French fries. They like, don't know the word. They look I, at you like. Yeah. I said, can I have some French fries? And this is after being here for maybe, like, nine months. And I just realized yeah, I sure. never ordered. <laughs> they were like, excuse me? And I was like, yeah, french fries. Can I have french fries? And she didn't understand me. And I was like, how does she not understand what I'm asking her for? No, right? And then Tyler's like, it's chips. And I'm like, chips? It's chips or it's hot chips. Like, I don't um, know. It's like hot, hot chips. chips. But then don't ask for ketchup either. Because they look at you weird. It's tomato sauce. Oh, and it doesn't taste the same. And it's not good. It's, yeah. Guys. Bring your ketchup with you. Pack your Heinz in your bag. Do they not sell real? <laughs> they do ketchup? sell it, but it's really expensive. Ah. So but I just I never buy bought it. it. Just use mayo. Put mayo on your fries like they do in like the Netherlands and stuff. Bring your Heinz. <laughs> <laughs> I have to have ketchup. I have to have Heinz. Anyway, hot chips. Also, so if you you can call potato chips chips as well. So that's what's confusing. Do they call them crisps? But they also call them crisps. Yeah also works, but they also call them just chips. Do you have chips? And that means potato chips. So it's, it's a little confusing. confusing. So good to know. It's a little bit odd. Okay. Another tip that I have for you is when you go to a restaurant, don't sit at your table and wait. Cause they don't really have wait staff per se, like they do in the U S because there's no tipping. Hmm. And so they're not really totally paying attention to you and they don't bring the bill to your table. Mm -hmm. You go and you pay up at the bar or you go and you pay up at the counter mm -hmm. when you're done. And, and in the US, you never do that? Would, no, I guess you don't. You, you do always, sometimes, kind of bring it to the table. but right. you always bring it to the table yeah, yeah, and yeah. then you go up and you pay. Right. And so I just I always notice travelers, they're just sitting there forever. Yeah. Because you're just... You're waiting for the bill. Yeah. And people will stay at restaurants for a long time. So people that are working at the restaurant don't really notice that you've been there a long time because yeah. they don't really... Like in some restaurants, they'll say, okay, we do have a limit of two hours. I've, oh, I've that's had that true. In, that's in true. Wellington. And that's because it's their busy, high, you know, time of day, maybe. Right. But probably for most parts, do yeah, they give most... you a limit? No, no. no. And, it, and you just sit there and you just go up and you pay. But what's really nice is like if you're with a group, you can just say... Hey, you know, I had this and this and this, and you just pay for yours. Yeah. And everybody behind you can just pay, which, you know, normally in the States, you have to have. Oh, and they have give such a big deal about it. And, and they we get split frustrated. the check. Yeah. Right. And then there's like the trust issues that you're actually going to pay for what you ordered, and they trust you here. It's mm. great. Mm. It's so easy. Even um, when Tyler and I went out the other night, they were like, Are you paying together? And I thought, course you know but they they were so used to that I guess yeah they're so used to just yeah. you just go up and you tell them what you ordered and you could like you could literally just like I only had one beer when you really had three Ooh. and then like whoever's last gets stuck with it <laughs> <laughs> what about the pay it forward that's no, not but, cool but, but I would never do that <laughs> no I would uh, never do that Chris but you know as an American you think about that <laughs> That you could um okay so um go up to the counter and pay also when you're at a restaurant they aren't necessarily just going to give you water you know mm -hmm. like in the u.s they always give you water ask for water but also if you're at a cafe or like a, a more casual restaurant they always have water available on the side that you could just get yourself whenever it's like a filtered water tank. yes it's, it's everywhere it's everywhere and it's self-serve yeah and so a lot of people that aren't used to that are used to being served because tipping and you know wait staff is an actual real big important job in the u.s and so just know that you can get your own water, which I really like because I like to just get my water. And it's kind of a lot of self-serve. Like a lot of sometimes you just get your own silverware, your own napkins. Yeah, yeah. It isn't just given to you with your food. Yeah. Um, and so, true. yeah, so just be aware of that when you go into restaurants. I guess it, it can depends feel on a little which bit one, eh? And yeah. people don't mind if you, let's say, go to a cafe and you need to just quickly fill up your water bottle. They're totally... They don't get offended they don't by get it. Offended by They're it. just like, yeah, sure, just go great. fill it up. And I know a lot of countries, if you were to ask for that, they would get you like, be like forget about it, you know? No, right? Exactly. Yeah. So that's nice. Um, and just know that you're not going to get refills. 
Oh, so, yeah. like, if you order soda, there's no free refills, like, anywhere. No. No, uh, except for some Burger Kings. You uh, can go and fill up your soda. But that's but not that's a real restaurant. It. That's yeah. not a real restaurant. Yeah, but yeah. I'm just saying, it's literally, like, the only place. Oh, wow. Um, so, yeah. Also, since we're on the topic of food, let's talk about cafes. Now, most of the food, that you can order off the menu in most cafes, but most of the food that's sold in cafes are sold behind the glass cabinet. Okay, and I think I was here for two years before I could order something. From Did you not think the it was going to be because good I saw or? them? No, 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 I didn't think it was going to be good because, like, what, <laughs> like in the U.S., they don't have that, and it would be probably really gross. And it disgusting. would be really old food, yeah, or it would no. be plastic and not real. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and yeah, so yeah. that's all I'm thinking. But because yeah. when I see people order in front of me, they're actually cutting a piece off of there and giving it to them. So I'm like, I don't know when that was made. I don't know, that's odd, but that's not actually what they do. In the cafes here, they will heat it up, they will add a salad, they'll add a nice sauce or a side that goes with it. So it's not just that you're getting that. And so I've learned. So you can trust the cabinet food when you come to New Zealand, it's okay. You can order from behind. Don't <laughs> you can be order. shocked. Don't be shocked. It's just a little bit different. Another thing that's a little bit odd, and I gotta speak to this as an American who loves hamburgers, is they put beetroot on hamburgers here and fried eggs, which is, you know, I've seen that other countries, but beetroot on a hamburger. And why do you think that is? Is it because they just I think like, they're, they're just they're trying, trying to eat it up. <laughs> <laughs> they have so many in the garden. They have so many other gardens. Maybe. I don't know. Do you really like it? I have tried to like mm, it. I don't like it. I love it. it. Do you love it? I love it. You love it on a hamburger? I'd eat it anytime. Hmm. Yep. Interesting. <laughs> It's really healthy for you. It is. It's healthy, but there we're already eating a cheeseburger, so just oh. <laughs> be okay with that. <laughs> but I haven't encountered it on a hamburger, I must say. I don't think... What? They even have it at McDonald's. What? Oh, my goodness. Okay. okay. I'll look into it because I have Okay, look yet. into but it. But it is, it is kind of bizarre. It is a little bizarre. Especially bit an egg, too. I've never really... Yeah. Know. They have the egg and the beetroot on the hamburger. Like, that's the normal one. <laughs> and I'm like... Mm. Do they put it on pizzas? No. Uh, probably. They put a lot of odd things on pizza. Okay, be aware of that. Be aware of the pizza. So a very common sauce instead of marinara sauce is barbecue sauce. Yeah, I know. Weird. My husband loves it. I don't like it. No. No. Pizza's not so good. Yeah. Um, anyway, so yeah, so be aware of beetroot and odd things on pizza. Um, okay, another thing that I want to talk about is, <laughs> that's a little bit odd here, is they have good donuts like real donuts, but a lot of times when you buy a donut at the grocery store or at a bakery, it's really just like a hot dog bun or a bun that's like cut open with cream and jam inside. So do they have real donuts though? I'm they do to have real donuts, but they they call these donuts as well. And it's just kind of funny. It's odd. I've never because tasted it Because it's not it a donut, it's a bun. It's literally a bun. It's like, to me, it's almost like a day old bun. It's like the buns from yesterday. What are we gonna do with them? We're gonna slice we them up with one cream and jam. Here to try in yeah. front of the camera because we'll, we'll I'll do one where we try kiwi tried food it. and show you. Oh, that's a great <laughs> idea. That's a fantastic <laughs> because idea. they're, mm, you know, but yeah, we can put a picture up anyway and say this is what it is. It's really a hot dog bun. <laughs> so just be aware of that. It's, it's a little bit odd. Okay, and um, another thing is people. Uh, will sell things out in front of their house, yeah. like fruits and vegetables, or even some jams that they made, or eggs, or yeah. manure, <laughs> <laughs> you know. And it's a trust system. It's a trust system. It's honesty box where you just pay, they put it like a price, and you just pay, and they just, people it's just amazing. drive by and do it. I know. I've stopped at so many of these, like I love eggs, these. and like their fruits, and it's just like people from their gardens just pick it, put it outside, and they're like, it's this price, put it in your money. Like, yeah. that's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, I love it's it. It's so cool. You can't do that in the U.S. <laughs> they are running around with your no, box. You'd have no more box and no more fruit or... <laughs> no more, they would just take it no all, more, right? Nothing. <laughs> How long do you think it'll last? <laughs> Maybe an hour. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, so there's, it's so cool when you're driving down around the rural areas. It's just yeah. very nice. I, I love Definitely it. stop and get it. It's so cute. There's so many places that I've seen too. They have these little boxes outside their houses and it's like a share box. For their library of books. And yes, like the library. Books. And then, isn't that cool? It's so, so cool like, and there's, odd. There's yep. sharing libraries sharing. all over the country. Yes. I love it. It's so cool because they don't have to man it. 
No. Because you can trust people here. No, That's and then I'm saying. Even Everybody's seen, nice. I've seen this in a place called Toronga. At the side of the road, they just had like a whole shelf. And it was just like people just put their stuff to donate and in the community and other people take it. And it's like, this, I know. It's beautiful. Yeah. 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 It's so cool. Mm. Anyway, you have to check it out. There is, New Zealand is really, really great, but there are some odd things just to know when you're coming here. Yes. Okay, so if you want to hear the rest of the odd things that Kiwis do, please join us on her channel. Growing Up Without Borders. Yes, and you can see the rest because we have a, another laundry list of odd things that Kiwis do, but we thought we would split them up on both channels so you can join us both. Have a great day. See you next time.